Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to an episode of Stiff Arm. In today's video, another day, another NFL draft report. This video, Ricky Purcell, wide receiver out of Florida, one of them white boys that's cold, he took a nation by storm after his one handed catch that you see on the screen right here. I think it was pretty nice. Uh, you know, it got killed after that, though. But this is a very experienced receiver, played at Florida, uh, Arizona State with. Jaden Daniels back in the day and Brandon Ayuk, he was on one of the craziest teams around talent that didn't win in a very long time. Herm, Herm Edwards was his coach and he transferred to Florida and just fit in right away in the SEC. Uh, this guy has been around for a long time, came in college there in 2019. So he's been around the block and he knows what it's like to be in different systems and just play Different talent across the board. 6'1", weighing 9, 2023 in 12 games, 65 catches, 165 yards, but only four receiving touchdowns in his career in five seasons, 159 catches, 2,420 receiving yards, and 21 touchdowns at the combine. Kind of kind of went crazy. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, let's see right here. He ran a 4 4 40-yard dash. 42 inch vertical and 10 9 broad jump. Uh, some would say sneaky athletic, uh, but let's get into his strengths and weaknesses. Strengths, his hands. He's one of the. He has one of the best hands in his class. He's gonna have one of the best hands day one when he joins the NFL. He's gonna have the best hands on his team. He's he doesn't have a lot of drops in college. He's got a lot of one handed catches, two handed catches. Uh, he, he's gonna remind me of Odell just catching hand uh, catching balls left and right. Pause, but he doesn't have a lot of drops, and he's got really great hands, soft hands, and that would be a really great skill to have at the next level. Especially having one of the best hands in your class, it's gonna put you up a lot of draft boards. And he's rising as well after his great performance in the Senior Bowl, and everyone's watching film on Ricky Purcell. His catching traffic is really good as well. Having hands is really helpful so when it comes to that department, and catching the traffic is right there with him as well. He's a really good route runner. He can really set up defenders, knowing what they're doing in zone, uh, in tempo with, use different tempos, and set the DB up to where he wants to win. Uh, you know, if he's got inside breaking route, he can go slow on it, break to the outside, and come back in. Uh, he can win his one-on-one -on -one matchup. I think that's one thing that's really good about Ricky Purcell. He's going to win his one-on-one -on -one matchup. If that's man, if that's zone, he's going to come out on top. Most times, I do not, and that's why I like Ricky Purcell. This is one of these draft day steals. He's got a ton of experience in different systems, like I said earlier. He played at Arizona State. He's at Florida, Florida this past season, for the past two seasons. Uh, and he's just played on different coordinators, different quarterbacks. And I feel like he's got a ton of experience, which is going to help him at the next level. Because Herm Edwards is coming from the NFL experience. Antonio Pierce was on this staff as well. So it's just so much talent at Arizona State that they had and just couldn't win. His weaknesses, his explosion, he doesn't have that quite burst you want to see from five or zero to five. Uh, but I feel like he makes up for it later on down the field. But his zero to five is where he needs to work on the most. Uh, short area burst, like I just said, uh, just getting out of your break, getting out of your stance, that really needs to improve. He tends to waste movement a lot on his routes, uh, double moves, top of routes, and I feel like he needs to improve that as well, clean it up, uh, top of routes, and just have not a lot of wasted movement so he can get in out of breaks, getting out of those double moves, and just set that DB up and win with leverage. Shades of Chris Olave. I didn't want to do the cop out and do the Adam Thielen, the Hunter Renfro, the Cup, any white receiver in the NFL. I didn't want to do that. Uh, so I went with Chris Olave. They tested well at the NFL Combine, tested around the same. I really just see a lot of Olave in his game. Uh, ranking wide receiver 10, I uh, felt like he's just not as talented as the other receivers, but. I feel like if if he really turns into a, a he could turn into a great slot receiver in the next level. A team in the second round, even third round, are gonna get a good player out of Ricky Purcell. He's he's literally climbing up draft boards as we speak right now, and the team's gonna be great to get him. Wide receiver two, wide receiver three at the next level. The Panthers, the Raiders, 
some of these teams in the second round that need a receiver. Patriots need everything. So I feel like that is somewhere where he can go and fit in right away. That's all I have for today's video. Go check out some other NFL draft reports I have up on the channel right now. Uh, comment down below what you guys think. And, of course, subscribe to this if I'm a becoming YouTuber for college football NFL draft. So go check out those other videos as well. But I'll see you guys next time. Peace.